Okay, wait. Did you guys see the content creator who got chased off of the internet for being straight? Like, he came out as straight, and they, they bullied him off the internet for it? It's crazy. Like, you know that, you know the joke about, like, it, you, you, oh, in, in 2023, you have to come out as straight? It's almost actually true. It's actually almost true with, with some of the stuff that I've been seeing people have to go through. I don't know, just like recently. All right, I made I saw this I saw this earlier today. It was crazy. Joe Cat, yeah, that Joe Cat guy, the guy who made the I I love who made that like I love women video. All right, this guy who made this. All right, many of you have seen it before. We'll just play it just for the people who haven't seen it. Sad that there's no muscly girls in here. Well, I mean, yeah, but you know, sure, I like to joke around and talk about how oh, I'm strong women all the time, but that's not the only girls I like. I like big girls, pretty kitty girls, really witty girls, singing ditty girls. I like the licky girls with the nice thighs. I like a good chest, no matter what size. I like the belly folds, I like the six packs, really tall queens, and the short stacks. From the mild girls to the wild girls. You got style girls, make them round girls. Yeah, I just really like girls. Anyways, so that's it, all right? He was doing a little stream, all right? He made a little song. He made an animation to go with it. He likes women, all right? Man straight loves women, but apparently that's not enough. End him. Kill him. <laughs> End his life instantly, right? A bop, if you will. I've only watched this video like twice. I don't really have any thoughts about it. It's fun. That's it. Women. Pretty. Like, what What do you think, babe? Women, pretty. Thoughts? She, women are pretty. You like, you like tall girls? You like all girls? What can I say? It's a message that hits the masses. Or does it? Or does it? Because this video was being spread around online a lot of places for as long as it's been out as being... I was going to use this video for bait. I just can't, man. It's the worst video in the world. You can't even like dislike video. This here's one thing, okay? We talked about this when it came to that like one YouTuber who like hates who made a channel about video games but hates every single video game that comes out. You can't just dislike something anymore. I feel I maybe it's like the contentization of like everything, the TikTok of it, like the like the YouTube like the YouTubeification of everything, synthetic man. Yeah, that guy who like hates every single game that comes out, and and who thinks that like, Hat in Time is going to trans the children, and that the woke have destroyed Dead Space because there's gender neutral bathrooms while you're running from monsters for which will, like the human mind cannot even comprehend, right? You can't just like dislike things anymore. You know, maybe it's the leafification of the YouTube of, of YouTube. Remember when Leafy was around, and after he ran out of stories, out of his short and uneventful life, after running like a like a YouTube YouTube story channel, instead of just like continuing on with you know trying to tell other stories or like pivoting to something else, instead of that, he decided to make videos like the dumbest child of all time, the stupidest thing in the entire world, the craziest, you know, and I'm, we're all, we, we're all, we all do bad things, okay? I do it too every now and again. I try not to, I try to be like serious when I say it or like real when I say it, okay? I try and be real when I say stuff like this. But if I'm going to be honest with you, it's just gone too far. You can't, just like with other with other stuff, you can't just be like, oh, I don't really like this game. I don't really enjoy, you don't, you can't just be like, I don't really enjoy this thing. I don't really like this thing. This thing just isn't hitting the right, you know, notes for me. I'm just not like that, <clears throat> that not into this. It now has to be the worst thing that's ever been made. The most cringe thing that's ever existed. The, the, the mostest, the evilest thing to ever exist. The worst in the entire world. And every single time, it's, it's the new worst in the entire world. It's, it's the worst to ever exist, actually. The worst video to ever be made. It's now the most cringe thing anybody has ever done. It's no longer just things that you don't like. They have to be like, they, they, they have to be put in this like tier. Everything has to be like tier listed. And, and everything's always at the top and you just keep topping the last top. It's the height, the, everything is hyperbole and everything 
everything is hyperbole all right and everything has to be and the greatest crime that you can commit is like cringe okay which which i i just really don't like right well oh if i don't like it it must be the worst thing in the entire world and you need to be kicked out for doing you need to be chased off the internet you need this or that something terrible needs to happen to you you can't just dislike it you simply can't just dislike it it's crazy it just doesn't make any sense all right i hate it i hate it a lot you have a good relationship with your father can't relate must be cringe i hate the idea that like cringe is the worst possible thing ever with with the whole like oh listen if it's cringe that means it's like it's simply evil and something that's bad is like okay as long as it's not cringe right like well you may be doing something good but as long as you're doing it in a way that I don't really like that much, it's cringe. And if you're doing something in a that's something that makes you happy, but I don't it doesn't make me happy and I can't do it because because either I don't have like the social skills of you or I think enjoying something too much that must be cringe and so it's worse and you're worse than something than somebody simply just doing a bad thing, okay? I'm going to I'm, I'm telling you this now. If somebody was to commit an actual like genuinely heinous crime. Well, maybe not just let's let's not let's not hyperbolize too much, all right? Like if somebody was to commit like a crime, like a bad one, you know? They rob somebody. Okay? They rob somebody. Oh, honestly, you know what? Great great idea. Let's take Sniper Wolf. Okay? Let's take Sniper Wolf. Many people think Sniper Wolf's content is cringe. And I think that plays into why a lot of people don't like her. Now, I don't like Sniper Wolf, and I'm just not say, I'm not trying to say like we need to re, we need to do anything with that. But I'm just using this as an example. So, keep it keep it as the example as it is. Try not to broaden this out too much. All right? With this being said, if Sniper Wolf didn't make quote unquote cringe content, but still doxed Jack's films, I'm going to tell you this now, probably two thirds of the people who like cared about that situation and, and the things Sniper Wolf did wouldn't really care. Or if you do something bad, as long as you're not cringe about it, people kind of just won't care. And if you're cool, and you do something bad, people will not only not the people will only will not only be on your side, but they'll kind of just forget about the thing that you did. That's wrong. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as you're cringe, it's it's just bad. Cringe. You're bad and you're always worse than somebody else who's not cringe. And as somebody who's done like debates and stuff like this, you're you're a lot of these types of people, especially conservatives, more conservative minded people are just kind of stupid dorks and what i mean by that is that if you are right okay you've all right best example that i can bring up about this as well is the feminist cringe compilation all right you remember those they were able to build an entire movement against women's rights and social rights by tying the entire movement to some people who were mildly annoying in in videos all right, that's it. They were they weren't even committing any crimes. They weren't like beating people in the street. They weren't like shooting people. They were like they were able to radicalize people over just some random women being annoying sometimes. And that's literally it. Screaming liberal meme dot jpeg. Yeah, right. They're just they have the animal brain where they're just like as long as I think that you're kind of annoying, I couldn't care less. You've seen this when it comes to like activists who are out in the world trying to make the world a better place but if they're if you do it in a way that's not you know uh, th that's not getting in the way of things then nobody will care but if you do get in the way then you're cringe and then if you're cringe you're bad and then there are these people who will like and another thing there are these people who are like when it comes to vegans right somebody will be just like I'm vegan. And then somebody will be like, oh, you're vegan, huh? You're, well, I just, I'm going to make sure that I eat 30 pounds of meat this weekend just to make up for you not eating meat. You're, you're, you're so lame. What, <laughs> what next? You're going to tell me you care about like animals and their rights? Yo, fuck you. You know, they do all, all that sort of just like bullshit, which I think is like super cringe. But they think that, but they remember this one time that a vegan was like mean to you for eating animals because they think that you're harming 
living creatures by killing them and then eating them which apparently i've been told harms them or something and so they were mean to you and so you're like that's cringe so i'm going to make sure for the rest of my life that i act like a child and i not and i turn my nose up at at the entire premise of just not really eating meat that much and and try to double down on it it's just it's just it's, it's the it's the thought process of a literal child of a literal child and these type of people it's just at the end of the day all <laughs> i hate to say i hate doing this but i'm going to keep doing it because it's just because it has to be done but the only thing that a lot of these people understand is is power on 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 that side all you need what you need to do is show them that you have power over them and so even if it's cringe they can't really do anything about it. They'll still respect you because you have you have power. They think like orcs. They think like monkeys and they think like orcs. Where as long as you're strong, then you deserve to They 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 think like cartoon villains, you know? Like as long as you're strong, you deserve to be up there. And you can be like a little cringe because you're our cringe, especially if they already like accept and buy into the status quo. Oh, you're vegan? I'm gonna burn down an animal shelter. How about that? <laughs> Good luck saving animals, dweeb. Yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy i'm gonna make sure i die of a heart attack and kill as many animals on my way out <laughs> yeah and it's always this weird thing recently it, i can't really say it's recently i'm only like tw i'm only like 24 so this is more likely than not happened a lot before but with 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 with, with something that i've just like been seeing is the whole you so you can't back on on this whole thing you can't apparently like women if you like women too much you know what they call you they call you a simp they also call you gay so if you're nice to women you're a simp if you're too if you're mean to women you are gay because you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to distance yourself from women so you must be like super gay all right oh honestly you know what here there's a great write-up on this what one of my favorite tweets recently if you hate if you hate women, they call you gay. If you like women too much, they call you gay. If you like men that look like women, they call you Reddit bisexual. If you like men who look like men, they shoot you. And I can't I cannot tell you how true this just is. It's so <laughs> true. <laughs> Moral of the story is you're gay. Yeah, yeah, it's so true that you can't even you can't express feelings. You can't like something. And here's, here's, here's the crazy thing, okay? One of the big things, I'm so glad we're moving away from it, but there's still like a big market for it, which is just proves how sad we are as just creatures, right? Of just making fun of people who are happy. You ever notice that? Of making fun of people, deriding people, and being mean to people for simply just enjoying something and being happy. Right. If it's not something that you're happy about or if it's not something that you like very much, if somebody else is happy about it or they like it and they express that they're cringe. And if they're cringe, they're bad. And if they're bad, well, sorry, if they're bad because they're cringe and if they're cringe, they deserve basically anything that, that comes their way. Right. Like doxing, abuse, all this type of stuff. OK. I'm no Chris Chan fan, all right? But 99% of the abuse that that person experienced was simply because they were cringe and easy to bully. And so, and so like they'll destroy some people will destroy people's lives and they'll cackle along the way simply because they have simply because that person's annoying or cringe or lame or they like something too much, which is also cringe, and so they deserve the abuse that comes that comes their way and they deserve to be you know, torn down for simply just liking something and liking it too much. And so it, it brings up this idea of like you having to moderate yourself constantly or else you'll be cringe like them because you'll like something too much. I remember there was a tweet about where where a woman talked about her and her husband enjoying the morning coffee and she got torn apart for it, for being a happy couple. People just hate other people being happy. It's middle school shit. It, it's genuinely the type of stuff that I would imagine you would do when you're like 12. Okay. I can see a 12 year old doing it because they're 12 and they're stupid and they shouldn't be allowed on the internet because they're 12 and they're stupid.
But this is stuff go- coming from like grown men. Okay. These are people who are like 20, 20, 30, 40, genuinely like grown adults. And yeah, there's like some 17 year old kids in there too who are stupid who also need their like phones taken away from them. Obviously, they can't they can't use it correctly. But yeah, it's just it's just crazy. Same thing happened with like like furries and brownies as well. Obviously, they're like really bad people in in there there are bad people in those communities. But ninety nine percent of the people that were getting the shit were were just like normal people who enjoyed their little hobby that they that they did in their spare time simply because um and and that were shitted on simply because they're being cringe and they do something that's cringe. So like the abuse that they suffered by the hands of other people who are unhappy with their lives is just what is just what they deserve i guess i i don't know i just think it's i just think it's really sick and bad and gross that we just do this to people so yeah if you're cringe you'll be if if you're cringe then you'll be shitted on and the reason why i'm bringing this up honestly is because this guy has been suffering abuse for like quite a long time over this video so much so that he his wife even got involved um uh, to talk about it but after all this happened he decided to actually give up on making content if this is what it takes to be a content creator online i don't think i'm cut out for it tldr i'm going to finish finish on my current projects and then i'm going to be taking an indefinite break from making content so he's he was chased off of the internet he makes good animations i don't watch his content but he makes good animations he seems like a pretty nice guy and he was chased off of the internet because he, he was just constantly getting shit on um for this video all the time all all the time and it's been like this isn't the first time that this video has been up it's been up for years and years it's been like circulating of people just harassing him for being cringe and liking women too much that's it he literally came out the content creator comes out as straight and then and then gets bullied off the internet for it mission accomplished yeah mi- yeah good job mission accomplished yeah and they're genuinely people there are genuinely people celebrating in in um in the quote tweets yeah they actually made him give up his dream name for liking women dog yeah they fu- yeah they fucking bullied him for liking women come here come here oh. hi oh sorry i didn't see you there if you're enjoying the content hit the subscribe button if you don't It'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. (laughs) Thank you, Boo.